Hey guys, Michelle here for Cushell Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I completely forgot to show you guys what I did at the Three Craft Chicks um, Make and Take, which was um, before the event, which I shared with you on Monday. So I really am sorry. It's my head cold brain that um, kind of like deterred me from after filming the whole video I realized oh my gosh I forgot to share it to you with you guys so there were three um, make and takes that were done the day before the event started this was an additional fee um, on top of the retreat so whether you're in person or virtual you had the option to do this and it was a lot of fun um, the first thing we did was we made a holiday card and this was done by I believe Joey yeah, Joey, who was um, the photo play uh, person um, or representative. And so they gave us a envelope. And this was the cute card that we created. So adorable. Um, very simple and easy to put together. Um, and then we, I just distressed it with some ink and placed it how I wanted to. So I wanted to share that with you. And then the next class we did was with Leo Concord, which, which is um, Leo by Mail. And she gave us this cute, adorable stamp. So I know I showed it during my unboxing, but it basically has these little tiny um, symbols and then this Christmas um, uh, definition of what Christmas is and then a to and a from which to me are perfect size if you're gonna do tags I do know she'll eventually have this in her shop to purchase if you want to and so she was just sharing with us how to make these fun cute tags um, and we basically just got white cardstock and just cut it to size I will tell you um, she did give us one and I used it as a template so in case you're saying, that's great, Michelle, but what's the size? So um, this one is three and a quarter in length by, I want to say that's one and, oh my God, my measurements. It's two notches after a half. I want to say seven eighths, but I'm sure I'm wrong on that. But basically, you just make a template, whether you have one or you create one. And then you notch the sides and then do the center. And I basically just took it and just made a whole bunch of them. Um, and then the whole creative portion of it was taking the stamps and then making it your own. So, for example, with this one, I just did little um, ornaments, which was this guy right here. And then I just took a pen and just drew lines. And then I just did a little bit of ink blending at the bottom, put the to and from, and I'm done. If you wanted to write something on the back, you could, but it's so stinking cute. This one, I basically took, um, I use mint tape, which is this fun stuff from scrapbook.com. But you can take a post-it note. You don't have to buy stuff to make things. You just use whatever you have, or even a sheet of paper. And I just masked it off, did the green then did the red and then took the stamp and I actually what I did was so you see how they were lined up so I didn't have to move them and I just inked them and I just stamped them like that like that's exactly what I did <laughs> and then um this side I just put the to and from now that I actually put on a stamp block um and then just did that like that and then you see the back is left blank so so fun this one I kind of did the same kind of concept I did strips of the mint tape I um, tried to make the same width so that I can mask it off and then I took red ink and I just blended it once that was done I took off the um, mint tape and then I just stamped the uh, Christmas definition which if you're reading it it says the only time of year in the in which one can sit in front of a dead tree and eat candy out of socks. So funny. So anyways, that was blank on the back. And this was actually the first one we attempted <laughs> or, or was introduced in the class. And I just like this little Santa Claus. I thought he was super cute. And I just took him and I did like a stamping thing and I just placed him wherever. It kind of gave him a background. And that was all I did. I mean, I could do more, but 
I wanted to get my mojo started, so this was the first one I did. But a lot of people shared them on our private Facebook group, and it was a lot of fun. Um, there's so many different creative ways to go about it. And if you're just sitting in front of the TV watching a Hallmark movie, as I usually am, um, you can definitely just have them all pre-cut, you know, do like an assembly line, and then just make your cards or your tags, and you don't have to go to the store and pay $5 for something you have in your stock stack. So anyways, wanted to share that with you. That was a lot of fun. And then the last make and take we did was with Lauren, who is Michelle Craft's daughter. And hers was kind of cool. Um, this was another simple and cute one. This one's with a huge tag. And we have a little um, belly band here that we created. And then it's one of those um, back and forth. Now, I turned it into a little pocket. Um, I turned it into a little pocket. Not sure how I'm going to utilize this or what to do with it. But essentially, if you saw my other um, video where we did the pocket folder, um, album you could definitely just stick that in there and then you have the choice of making us a belly band or if you wanted to make it something else and then it just slides back up super fun super cute so anyways so I just wanted to hop on real quick didn't want to take too much of your time and I completely forgot that I didn't share with you guys what we created during that event and again, that's usually done the day before the kickoff. It's called a kickoff make and take. And it's done before um, the actual retreat starts. It is optional. Um, but if you didn't see my video, you saw all the goodies we got. They did indicate, which I didn't mention in my other video, was that all the free stuff I got in the make and take. Let me see if I can show you again. So all this stuff that I thought was for a class, um, see this is what happens when you open things before the event starts. Um, all this stuff was actually free to do what I want with, but during the event, during the shopping for the make and take, um, they did have an option to purchase a kit that had instructions and everything with it. So I bought that. Um, so I once I get that kit in and I make it, I will share it with you guys. Um, so you can see what we put together, but it's going to be a simple stories um, snap album with um, instructions on how to put it all together and have fun with. So yeah, so uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I will be back shortly with another video and if you can hear my voice sounds a lot better. Um, so I'm going to keep chugging along so I can give you guys some content and have a fantastic day. Stay safe holiday seasons here. Um, so catch you on the next one. Take care.